How's it going today, everybody? This is Kajimi Addicts, your host, bringing you another figure review. Today, we are looking at the YMSF G Fantas G Fest 27 Nuclear Glow exclusive figure. This was exclusively sold at G Fest, which, as we found out this week, there are a few remaining at temptingtoys.com. So, if you'd like to pick this up, head to the website, to see if it is still in stock. I completely re recommend it. This figure is awesome. But we will get into that in the review. So please leave a like, comment, and subscribe if you're new. If you're a returning viewer, thank you for continuing supporting the channel. We are now up to 331 subscribers. We're getting very close to my second anniversary subscriber goal. And we're barely halfway into the year. So thank you guys. Let's look at the header really quick before we look at the figure. Uh, this was designed by Matt Frank. Very, very nice. We had the YMSF up at top, which maybe you can see it. The Y is a hetera. There's the G Fantas. Very nice. And here's the back. Very nice. First ever vinyl figures. First ever vinyl figure. G Fantas. Nice. Well, first edition, uh, first full figure. There are the six inch prototypes that are out, but this is the first, I think, actual release of the G, -Fan or G Fantas figure. So, as I said, this is Nuclear bl Blast. Why is it Nuclear Blast? Well, let's turn off the lights really quick and let's see if I got enough of a charge on him. Oops, wrong way. There we go. Look at that. That is super intense. That is not bo boosted by the cam or by the camera. That is just how much he glows. He is illuminating the room. Even my hand is quite a bit illuminated. All right. Let's get that overhead light on. There we go. All right. So he glows in the dark. And he glows that very lovely green, which is super awesome. The detail on this figure is pretty incredible. Um, it kind of does show through a little bit. There's some stuff that's missing um, just because this is the the variation of it. Once we get a fully colored version of G Fantas, I think this figure is going to really, 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 really pop. Um, get some depth in there, get some shading. I think this figure is going to look very 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 nice but it has a lot of detail looks good i cannot wait to see a painted version of this there was already another version of this teased uh it's like a excuse me like an orange translucent glittery sparkle version i don't know whether it releases this year or next year or it's a gfs exclusive i will be buying it uh this guy is a Harder vinyl slash plastic. It's probably vinyl, uh, but very hard, very hard. Uh, he does have some articulation. Um, there is a seam at the head. I do think this is glued though. Oh no, it does turn. Never mind. But I mean, you know, doesn't do too much for him. The arms go up. The legs go up. There's a copyright stand right there, Dekaiju Enterprises. And there's the YMSF stamp. And then the tail does rotate a little bit, but because it is a harder vinyl, um, it's pretty tight. I definitely would not let get, I wouldn't let this guy get too warm or too cold. I don't know what he's gonna do. Uh, hopefully not deform, but he's very nice. I, as I said, I cannot wait for a painted version of this. I almost bought two. Um, I I was very close to pulling the trigger on two of these um, to have this one, and then I have a glow in the dark one, or this glow, in, the second glow in the dark one, painted up. So then he glows in the dark, but he's also a painted version. But seeing as we're probably going to be getting a painted version of this kaiju very very soon, this figure, I decided just to wait because what's the point of like getting a painted one, if we're gonna get an officially painted one. 
as cool as it would be to see a glow-in-the-dark one, uh, a fully painted one to where maybe the body isn't super glowing, but then like the spines and the horns are glowy, that would be cool. But I decided to wait. Um, if the eight online happen to not sell out, if they're not already sold out, might pick up another one. But I would like people to have a chance to get these. I try not to buy limited number run things multiple times. I like everyone to have a shot at these, so. That is about it for the articulation detail and stuff. Let's look at size comparisons really, really, really quickly. Just, just to show you how massive this guy is, um, which I didn't actually grab anything to show off, so uh, that's my fault. Let's look at the Godzilla the Ride movie monster series. Pretty big, pretty big. Let's look at a Safubi. Let's look at something else that we bought at G-Fest. The Marmot GMK. Very nice. Very, very nice. All right. I think that's about it. We don't need to look at everything under the sun. He's a big figure. He's seven and a half, eight, eight and a half, somewhere in there. I think he's about eight and a half. A very, very nice figure. I, like I said, if he is somehow still available at TemptingToys.com, he's 150 plus shipping, I do believe. I would recommend getting him if you are on the fence. This is a G-Fest exclusive, so once they're gone, they're gone. I don't expect people to be re reselling these very much, and if they do, they're probably going to be like the past uh, Safubi exclusives where they're very, very expensive. So I'm going to give this figure a solid 9 out of 10. The glow on it is perfect. The only thing that really, you know, is there and it's not even the figure's fault is because of the style of vinyl they used. Some of the details are hidden with the cream, you know, just the regular colors, but that is only because it's a complete glow-in-the-dark figure. Once we get a painted version in a different material, this thing is going to pop. So, that is all, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. I'm excited to be making a review, and hopefully you guys enjoyed the Day Zero vlog video that came out as of this recording tomorrow, but as of the video being posted yesterday or earlier in the week. I don't know if this is going to go up on Wednesday or Friday. So, thanks you again, everyone. This is Kaiju Maddox, your host, signing off the way we always, always do. Peace, rock on, stay safe, remember to go to the Facebook group, group collect all monster monster collectors answer the security questions join the discussion with a thousand plus wonderful members of all different collecting hobbies and styles and you might see me there too and i'll see you guys in the next video bye guys g or g fantasy me signing out